Hi and welcome to Mellow Crafts. I'm Melody, short name Mellow. That's my nickname. So today we're going to be learning how to make a piggy bank out of a box, a half gallon box of milk like this. So this movie is, I mean this video is pretty long because I showed all these ways to do this so I'm gonna have skip menus at the description bar below of each side just in case you want to do it just the regular one so I hope you guys enjoy it my first craft okay so what you will need to make this piggy bank is a box of milk juice this is the half gallon Then you can also, I recommend white paint. Oh, this is acrylic. And then any other color that you would like to paint your box. An exacto knife. Any kind of tip, it doesn't matter as long as it cuts. And cardboard paper or cardstock paper. Anything thick so that if you want, would like to paint it, it won't start to bend. What I did first is I went ahead and washed this box out with soap and water. Just because it's milk or almond milk. I just don't want it to, you know, start steaming. So I just washed it with some soap, shook it, and then rinsed it out. So first, what I'm going to start to do is I'm gonna make cut this plastic part off just to have a hole here ready for the piggy bank. You can keep it. But I'm not sure if quarters and all that will fit in there. But I'm just gonna cut it off and make my own hole. So it's pretty easy actually to cut. I'm just cutting around here making some holes. around it's very easy plastic to cut around see it's already ripping off so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting around and then I'll come back okay so now I cut the hole out here's the little plastic part that I cut out and I'm just gonna go ahead and test it test out a quarter fits perfectly so I'll we could go ahead and use this to paint the whole box so that, of course, anything can be covered. Any other color can be covered with white, but I just want, you know, these dark colors to light in with the white. So I'll probably do like one or two coats. Using this flat square brush, it's a number 22, just in case anyone wants to know. Now with me, I do have a palette for paint. I don't like using palettes, so I just pour the paint in here. Dip my brush in there, and then just start painting the box. So we're gonna do that all around. One time, let it dry, and then do another coat after. You can see this is the first coat that I just finished. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, huh? but this is already the second coat. I'm doing it right now. So I'm starting to paint the box with colors. They're just regular acrylic paint colors, like that. And I don't know why, but I like doing these patterns. And then each one is going to be outlined in black it's going to be all full I'm going to do one, four different sides just to show you guys how differently you can make the box so this side I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how to do this and then I'll come back once it's done so pretty much you can do it like this which is I'm just taking little sections at a time 
and putting the colors. I have the colors in order here. So I did the blue, red, green, orange, purple, and now I'm going to do the yellow. And then I'm working in sections, so I'm going to do this one first. Yeah, so that yellow's done. And this yellow's done. You can put them anywhere around in that section of the colors. Like so. Put this one here. And it doesn't matter what shape they are, as long as they're in their little section. Like that. See? So they all have their colors, different shapes and all that. Or what you can do is you can start from the bottom and then go up. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to go ahead and start showing you how to do the black striping on it. For this side of the box, the main side where the money's going to be dropped in, I'm going to go ahead and make a cat. So this is the drawing I came up with. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting these on here first. And then I'm going to cut them out. So here are the pieces. So I just painted again with this acrylic paint. And then these, I'm going to cut them up, make them the whiskers. So now we're going to go ahead and cut this stuff and we're going to start gluing it onto the box. Okay, so here are all the parts I cut out. So I pretty much overlap them so that they all fit. And then the ones that are missing, like the color, I'm going to finish painting those. This white spot, all the white, I'm going to go ahead and finish. And then we will start gluing this stuff on here. Alright, so what we're going to do first is get the feet. I made two of them. I'm going to stick them onto the bottom. I'm going to use regular school white glue. So I went ahead and just painted the whole, mostly the whole box orange. And then here I left it open just so that the cat would have a white stomach. And then what I also did, did was to make the picture stand out more. I just got these little foam shapes like this and I glued them to the back.
Okay, so here's the third part of the box. I might add something there. Not sure what. But yep, this is all it is. It's all regular acrylic paint. So I have this side done. And have this side. We have the cat done. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to this part. Okay, so for this next part, I have all these little jewels here. I have buttons. I have these little glitter stickers. Some holographic animals. And I also have these confetti holograph stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and bedoozle this side. You can use whatever you want. And now I'm going to use also the white armor's glue and a glue gun to stick the heavier items so go ahead let's get started Okay, so here's the final look of the last one. Just added all this stuff to it. And now we're done with the piggy bank. Here's all around. So hope you enjoyed this first video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos of crafts that I make. Bye!